how much is this uh, thrown off the momentum that you built here in Ottawa, and uh, how, how would you counter if not with negative that? Oh, I don't think it's thrown on the momentum. I think the momentum is that our supporters, our core supporters, are very committed to this. I believe they still will be. In fact, I hope they will be even more so, because a lot of them were committed to this because we have run a campaign about issues, about the spirit of this country, the spirit of the campaign. If uh, you know they abandoned us now because we're not going negative, that was truly surprising. I think it may bring people to us who agree that the tone of the campaign has gotten out of control, that the uh, very spirit of American politics, while it's perfectly fine to mix it up, there's there's a limit. So, so, they they got, so yeah. Governor, are you saying that you don't think that the Romney ads have hurt you, or are you are you saying that you you do think they hurt you, and that at least made you consider the counter response. Oh, I think, you know, we had to believe that they were hurting us. Obviously, you don't counter if you think it's doing more damage to him. But if, if it hurts me, it hurts me. That's what I've decided to, uh, to accept, that yes, it's hurt me. And, uh, you know, he's in many polls now taking the lead back. Uh, he, he ought to be leading. For heaven's sakes, he's out spending me 20 to 1. You know, he ought to beat me 4 to 1 at least. If he doesn't, I think he's got a lot of explaining how come his money couldn't come up with it. But the point is, I'm taking a risk here. I know I am. Um, if, it, if it completely uh, you know, makes it so that he pulls away in a dramatic way, then I'll probably be the last guy to ever do this. <laughs> but I'd like to be the first one to at least try. Go ahead, go ahead. Can you say what happens happens in Iowa, but if you don't come out on top in the caucuses, are you going to reconsider running these negative ads in New Hampshire and other states? Well, you know, we're going to we're going to try to run the same kind of campaign I was afraid that we're running here. Uh, I want to see how people respond. Uh, are they willing to accept that this ought to be about what we're for and not what we're against? I know that today I, I just felt like the, the decision had to be made. I made it. I'm going to live with the decision. And uh, I hope that the people who have come this far with me will agree with me that it was the right decision and that we're all still uh, uh, pushing hard this time next week. I think, frankly, we will. Let me take a couple more. Yes, will there be a New Hampshire or beyond? You don't cut it here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you got to remember, we're running first in South Carolina, first in Florida. We were running first in Michigan here a couple of weeks ago, second in California, uh, first in Delaware. So, you know, this is no, uh, the only state in which we're in play. Most every national poll has us either number one or number two. And we're in uh, a very strong position, uh, not just in Iowa, but across the country. So, while we'd like to win the caucuses, we don't think we have to win the caucuses to be very much on the, on our feet in the presidential campaign. You know, in politics, it's, it's like anything. You, uh, you you never try to totally burn a bridge that couldn't be rebuilt. Uh, one of my probably folks is, you know, I can have my moments with people, but also uh, try to rebuild every relationship I can. I think that's part of uh, what ought to be in each of us as, as a human being. That we never draw a line that can't be, uh, uh, you know, can't be crossed and can't be uh, rebuilt. It sounded like you, a minute ago you did not rule out using these ads or getting tough in the future because you wanted to see how people react. Is that what you intended to say? Uh, no, what I'm intending to say is if we've made a decision here that we're pulling these ads because I want to change the tone. I'm going to see people, I want to see if people agree with that. And uh, that's what we're going to find out this week, Carl. And, you know, Thursday night, I'll let you know how, how smart a move it was. Good. 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 Well, I think that uh, was more fueled by my opponents than it was by the reality. Um, the fact is, I think I've answered questions on foreign policy effectively. Yesterday, I meet the press. Uh, nobody would say that Tim Russert's a, a, a light party interview. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he gets a reputation for. And, and frankly, that's a good thing. Uh, but I, you know, a lot of people thought I was crazy to go and meet the press just a few days before the caucus. Um, but I did it, and I thought he asked fair questions, but they were tough questions. He didn't want any softballs, and I don't think I walked out of there without 
any of my land is still attacked. So I thought it was, uh, you know, a good, fair, tough kind of interview to expect out of Tim Russell. And uh, I believe that, you know, I sat there and took the punches and walked away still standing. So, um, you know, if somebody takes something out of context that I say in some impromptu news conference and parses a word out, as has happened in the last couple of weeks, I have. It's folks, this is politics. All of you come here every day. Not new to me either. Especially in my state, where I come from, where it's full contact sport. So I understand how that stuff works. And it's part of the game. Government. But at the end of the day, what people look for is, do you have a consistency in your message? Do you have a consistency in your direction? Do you have an authenticity? Do you really believe these things? Are these the things that truly drive you? Do they do or they don't? I think people and I will make that decision this week. Governor, 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 do you think Mitt Romney is fit to be president? I'm sorry? Is Mitt Romney fit to be president? The voters can make that decision. I, I, it's not my place to make that decision. The voters of Iowa will be the first ones, and then voters in other states will be the ones to make that decision. So I'll let them do that, just like they'll decide on any of the rest of us if you're fit to be president. I hope they decide that we are. Uh, I wouldn't uh, be running if I didn't think I was fit to be president, ready to be president, and willing to be president. And I'm hoping that the people will agree with that and give me the opportunity to take that job. Thank you very much.